episode number two. I don't know if I said that at the beginning. So it's a learning process. It's gonna take a while before things get smoothed out. I'm trying to figure out how to do all this. But uh, appreciate you sticking around and hopefully you enjoy these images as they pop up throughout the video. And uh, I will say that this There, that might work. Oh, well, good morning. I'm hoping this is in focus. If not, it's hard to do this in the dark or in the daytime, let alone do it in the dark. <clears throat> so I'm here a little up and early this morning from what I normally do. I had a sleep study last night, which I slept like garbage because I was. I was anxious about not being able to fall asleep, and that's exactly what happened. I did not fall asleep. <laughs> I don't think I fall asleep till after, well, after midnight, and, and then when I did sleep, it was pretty close to the edge of not sleeping. So it was pretty rough. So, pretty rough. I'm open to but I'm out focus. here trying to do a sunset. I got up early since I wasn't sleeping well. And uh, they let me out there early, so I drove over to the, the pond here and decided to get some early morning shots in. I'm hoping that they turn out. Um, I think they will. I got this real nice smoke on the water this morning. Uh, it's just a beautiful, beautiful looking effect. And uh, of course, there's no clouds this morning, which is typical for South Texas in the winter time. Very little to no clouds, but uh, I think we'll get some good shots in. I'm hoping. Oops, I messed that one up. Of course, I've been messing everything up now. Because I forgot I had this thing in manual. There we go. Photography is difficult. Then add photography in the night. Or the early morning hours when you can't see. And it makes it even more difficult. So I had the swan come right up here this morning. I'm pretty sure I didn't get that one in focus. Uh, it would have been beautiful too, but we'll see. I, then I forgot I had my lens in manual mode. All right, what happened here? Uh, of all things. Yeah, uh, sometimes. I'm not sure what it is. This 90D that I have will just freeze up. I need to get it in to Canon for some warranty work. But the solution to the problem is take the battery out. Take the battery out, reset the camera. So I'm trying to do some longer exposures. Kind of want that the water to be, even though there's no wind, very little ripples on the lake. I kind of want that nice smoky look to it. Um, I got. Let's see what I'll show you here is our sunset, our sunrise, I should say. There we go. I think that's level. I'm trying to. There we go. 
Okay. Hopefully this will work. Still recording. Nothing more frustrating than sitting here talking to you guys for several minutes and then that there we go. That's what we're looking for. We got that sun peeking out. <clears throat> Trying to get that sun star. Now it's hazy, so it might not work. I think generally with the sun star, you kind of want it to be pretty darn clear. But. Well, I think it's going to be the start of a good day. Hopefully. Um, I was sitting here talking to you a few minutes ago and stupid thing is not recording. Please tell me how we're recording now. There we go. Yeah. Beautiful, beautiful morning. I said earlier those guys that make this look so easy on YouTube hats off to them because this is incredibly difficult and I think that's probably the last picture of the day the last picture of the shoot, so I'm going to start wrapping things up here and try for some other stuff that's not directly in the sun here. Some bonus footage, as they say. Let's see here. Let's bring you guys along with. I hear the whistlers are back. Good morning, whistlers. I like the way these cattails. I'm gonna do two exposures on this. I'm gonna do one for the foreground. Then I'm gonna man switch this over to manual and see if I can't carefully. This might be a, that might be hard to do. It's so busy in the front. Let's do a another one here where I'll do 16. Okay. So what I this might be a hard one to do on post. There'll be a lot of masking. Focused on the foreground here with the cattails then I focused on the back on that point over there and hopefully we have something that resembles a nice shot I want everything to be kind of in focus so that's a third shot for the mid mid ground we'll see how that turns out And then I got these sticks about halfway out there. This would be a lot better if I had a longer lens. I got the sun coming in from the left. Those sticks kind of right there on the left. Maybe I can get one where the birds are kind of in it. Just a little bit further than I want to be on my focal length. I wish I would have brought my bigger lens. 
that would probably be a pretty cool shot. Not many people think of a 150 to 600 as a landscaping lens, but it can definitely be one. Dang it, that bird keeps going down. That's the nice thing about morning light is it's always changing. And uh, stick around, you know, 10 minutes and it's a completely different picture. It inspires creativity. Now I'm all excited about getting up in the mornings. <laughs> I don't like getting up in the mornings. Not usually. I don't even get up in the morning to go fishing anymore. I said we go fishing. Let's start at 10. Yeah, uh, maybe not 10. Probably 9. Let's get some breakfast tacos first. But that's a beautiful morning. It's nice that there's places like this in an urban environment where you can get out in the wild still. You just gotta wait, wait around for a few minutes and see what happens. So maybe the shot I did earlier is even better now. Sometimes I like to bracket. as I'm taking photos just so I have something to play with and when I get back to Photoshop not necessarily for 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 the final image but as I'm scrolling through my images and bridge I can I can look and say oh I like that I like that uh, I like this one a little bit better so it gives you a variety but you know, sometimes you use your exposure brackets for when you're doing your sunsets or sunrises, but other times you can do it just so you see a variety on the computer and maybe a picture to play with versus another picture to play with. So, see what I got. Hopefully, I'm sure I got a couple of good ones at least. And I'll show you the good ones along with the bad ones because you don't always get winners when you're doing this. You get a lot of, a lot of duds, a lot of not so good ones. But uh, that's okay. So appreciate you sticking around. Like I said, if uh, you like what you see, please hit that thumbs up button. That really helps the channel. And uh, thanks for hitting that subscribe button if you want to see some more. So we'll talk to you later. Have a great week.